Your text today, I know it says something in the bulletin, but I've made a change this morning. But it is John 3.16. John 3.16 is where we're going to start. Dr. Bloom founded OCA. It seemed like about the last year he preached up here. Every, every sermon started with John 3.16. So I guess, well, we might as well stick with what worked. And um, our series is on people. Uh, how are they tormented eternally uh, in hell? We preached two sermons on it, and I just felt a little, today I ought to go just a little bit different direction. But uh, we're going to come back to it two weeks from today. Next Sunday we have the evangelist for both services, so two weeks from today I'll be back to it. But um, I would kind of look at this as... Uh, the way to miss that torment in hell. Okay, so the way to miss that torment in hell, and so this is something that uh, I think that we ought to put out there so that you have an idea of uh, what you need to do in order to escape the torments of hell. In John 3, beginning with verse 16, and we're going to go through verse 21, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. I like that as the purpose of his coming, by the way. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed on the name of the only 